I work. And from Saskatoon, two youthful musicians are developing their talents in music styles that may not sell many records, but that's all right for them. Hi, I'm Lori Dempsey. I'll have those stories later on in the program, one from Saskatoon and one from here in Regina. But for our first story, we head out to Vancouver. For Art's Sake Continues. For our next story, we head out to Saskatoon to meet two relatively young musicians who aren't afraid to make a musical statement. Susie Vinnick is 21, and her mastery of the bass guitar with sort of a blues approach has gained her a lot of respect from her peers. Paul Tobin, on the other hand, has ruled out all contemporary styles in search of a more folk-oriented sound. Chances don't come easy We all have to wait so long But this time I'm believing This time I'm gonna be gone I'm gonna be Take away my image. I've known Susie since she was 13. I think she's 20 now, 21. I think everybody recognized a lot of talent in her when she was young. Like, I think that uh, in the local jams and things, we'd, Susie would show up uh, and waddle her way into the jam and sit in and I think you know we all just sort of sat around wowed and realized that uh, I think the thing we used to say was just wait till she's 21 you know That's when I started playing bass. Um, and it's, it's so different being in the school setting as opposed to uh, jamming with somebody down in the basement. Because we'd, we'd jam a bit, but it was jamming jazz. It wasn't the rock and roll stuff I listened to at home. So no, when I was 13, I didn't really see, see myself as being where I am today. Susie Vidic on the bass guitar. Give it up. go to the Rose and Crown. They had a jam on Saturdays, and I'd go there with uh, my friend Keith and Tim, and we'd get up there and play a bit. And people enjoyed us. That was the first time I sang live in the Rose and Crown. And uh, I got really scared. I got just sick to my stomach. I'd get so nervous. But I, I liked it, and I liked the response we got from the people in the audience. <laughs>
Going out and playing music is my release. Um, to let out is my part of my soul. If I've got stuff built up, I can get out there and sing and bear it to the audience. And so it, getting up and singing is it's a good thing. I don't know what I would do if I didn't have that release. Just take it in stages, <laughs> taking it step by step as it sort of falls in my lap and I've been very fortunate that that's what's happened for me. People have come into my life and I think the, the musical experiences I've had have all been positive ones, all the people I've met I've learned from. took the time to know which one I had to do. Hello, Sarah, please don't think it's a sin. Cause these are my intentions for how your life was to be working with Paul. We click quite well. His originals, he, I, I admire him for being able to write as much as he does. He probably doesn't think so, but I think I asked him once how many songs he had, and it was, it was lots <laughs> compared to what I've got. And uh, he's got a great voice, and I really enjoy working with him. All goes back so long ago when a man could fight to defend his soul. Now here we are in the city's drone. Sometimes I'd rather be left alone. Probably when I was 11 or 12, I had decided then, not even taking into consideration what it would take to do that, but I had ultimately made the decision then. And by age 14, I was, I was actually playing in lounges Probably the first song I wrote was some silly little ballad when I was 13 or 14 years old, which I thought was a big deal back then. Uh, turned out to be a horrible song, but it was it was a beginning. Still today, it's it's always it's not easy. It's never easy, but it's 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 not something you can compare in terms of being hard or easy. It's just either it happens or it doesn't. You know, it's it's natural. Wondering where the rights went wrong Am I too far gone And cut by the wire Too headstrong Just a hit of full fire I hate for you to see me this way about me today When you're writing a song, you, you always bear in mind that somebody else is going to hear it. 
so you, you know you don't open up too much you just you just reveal the surface of the possibilities of what lay under that and uh, hopefully that that keeps people wanting to hear what else you have to write maybe the more you write the deeper you get i don't know folk music was a big influence and um had my colburn years bruce colburn was definitely a hero but i'm too far gone and cut by the wire too headstrong just ahead of four fire i hate for you to see me this way I like all kinds of music. I like I like country music, uh, depending on what it is. But I really like what John Hyatt's doing and that kind of uh, honest music, if you will. Something that tells a story. It's kind of important, I think. But you are a candle burning me up inside. I don't want to burn out, baby. Keep this love. When you're playing to an audience who's like right there, you know, the energy that you can get off that, you can you perform your best, I do. But if I'm in, if there's like you know, 6,500 watts a side PA system, I don't even know what's going on out there. I mean, I don't hear that. And therefore, I don't, you know, I don't feel that, uh, that energy or the rush that I feel sitting close to people and, and playing in that type of place. I like to keep the sound, you know, I don't use a lot of pedals and things like that, nor do the guys that I, that I play with We're pretty much into it real time and real, real sounds. I like what I'm doing. Like, I like to just continue what I'm doing for now. Keep writing. Writing's more important to me than playing, actually. And, uh... You know, doing this kind of work, audio production, jingles, and things like that, provides some income and provides some uh, some learning, and so that's there. You know. Well, it feels like thunder, like a fire in the rain. Yes, it feels like thunder. All I wanna know. I was just in a rush before. I don't feel so rushed. I feel like I walk slower now. I take my time. Everything's slowed down. And I, I slowed it down. So I'd rather just take my time and enjoy every day. No rush for this guy. We all have to wait so long. This time I'm believing. This time. I'm gonna be gone. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be gone. Oh. Susie is hoping to tour very soon, and Paul, on the other hand, is branching out into the production end, and he hopes to start recording soon. Coming up next on For Art's Sake, Skyward is the direction one Vancouver band is hoping to 